Welcome to Sweden Week! <laughs> I know Sweden Week technically started yesterday with the IKEA vlog, but uh, now we're in the office filming and I've got my fancy Sweden background. Oh, it's uh, fabulous. I thought we would start off this week kind of easy, kind of basic, and learn the Swedish alphabet. And also, how to count. Maybe not count to a billion, but let's just start counting and then see how far we get. So the Swedish alphabet. Is it exactly the same as the English alphabet? Obviously not, because it's another language. But there are some funny similarities and differences that I thought I would mention today. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, E. Now this is where we run into trouble for the first time. In Sweden, I is pronounced E. I, E. And E in English is pronounced E. So we in Sweden have E and E and you have E and I. Let's keep going. J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, R, S, T, U, V. Another thing that's kind of funny that like differs between the languages is that in English, double U is called double U. In Sweden, it's called double V, which I think is more logical because technically a double U is two Vs put together. So it should be double V like in Swedish. X, E, Z, O, Ä, Ö. So J and G are a little bit confusing if you're Swedish and you're trying to speak English because obviously in English they're called J and G. In Swedish, J is pronounced J, which is very similar to G. So it's not uncommon for a Swedish person to mean J but accidentally say J or G because in their head G is connected to Y, which is J. So that's the entire alphabet. And we, compared to the English language, we do not have a song for it. Not that I know of anyway. I mean, I never learned a song. I only learned the English song. But anyway, now that we know the alphabet, let's start counting. Let's start with the basics up to 10, because you can't move on unless you know the basics up to 10. Ett, två, tre, tre. Fyra, fem, sex, sju, sju. Remember that from my previous Sweden videos? Yeah. Sju, um, åtta, nio, and tio. Ett, två, tre, fyra, fem, sex, sju, åtta, nio, tio. And one thing that I just noticed, which is kind of weird, is that four is fyra, but when I count fast, I'm, I say one, ett, två, tre, fyra, fem. I say fyr instead of fyra. Honestly, I don't even know why. I've never really thought of that before. It's just like, it's quicker. Ett, två, tre, fyra, fem, sex, sju, åtta, nio. Do I say åt or åtta? It's like you take away the last letter of some numbers. Ett, två, tre, fyra, fem, sex, sju, åtta, nio, tio. Ett, två, tre, fyra, fem, sex, sju, åtta, nio, tio. No, I, it's only fyr that I, or four, that I change from fyra to fyr. I don't know why. Ett, två, tre, fyr, fem, sex. That's weird. But now you know, if you want to be a Swedish talking person and be like, oh, yeah, I know how to speak Swedish, you just, when you count, instead of saying the numbers correctly, you make up new words for them. I don't know. But now we know one to ten. Ett, två, tre, fyr, fem, one. Ett, två, tre, fyra. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Shall we go up to 20 while we're at it? Okay. We have 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. And usually the teens are related to the singles. <laughs> um, and they are also in Swedish. Uh, elva has nothing to do with the word for one. And tolv kind of doesn't have anything to do with either. However, when we get to 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, all those words end with ton, which is a way you can remember it, I guess. Like in German, you say 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, so on sich. Um, but there you say zen after every number. In Swedish it's ton after every number. But in Swedish it's not the single number plus ton in all cases. Um, of course, if you would say that, um, if you would say fyra ton, no, no one would understand that. I, <laughs> I wanted to be kind of nice and be like, well, people would still understand what you mean, but I don't think they would. Um, tre ton, tretton. Um, is three ton, um, but you kind of pronounce it differently. So instead of saying tre ton, you say tretton, tretton, um, and you don't say fyra ton like I just mentioned. You say fjorton. So that one is kind of like eleven, twelve. You don't really connect it to the four. Fjorton, femton is the same as tretton. Fem, five, femton, five ton, uh, six ton, also six ton, six ton. 17, but you say 17, 17, 17, 17, uh, 18 is like 14, you don't say 18, you say 18, which is weird, I don't know where art comes from in that word, um, but 18, and then instead of saying 19, you say only 19, 19. There are more exceptions to the rule than actually numbers following the rule, so I'm sorry about that, but that's the Swedish language for you. I can't do much about it. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Some say 20, 20. It's spelled 20, but you can also say 20 if you want to. <laughs> Why? I don't know, don't ask. How far are we gonna count today? Actually, now that we've gone past the teens, I think it might get a little bit easier. Because when you go up to the twenties, it's 20. You say 20, the word for 20. And then you just add the, sim the single numbers that we learned 1 to 10. Well, not 10, 1 to 9. Um, 20, 1, 20, 2, 20, 3, 20, 4, 20, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, and then we get to 30. And then you just start over. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44. You get my point. Okay, so after the teens, much easier because then you just have to know the singles and every 10 what they're called. They're called 20 that we learned, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and then finally 100 and you start over. So now that you know all of these you can basically count very very far. Up to a thousand I would say because after a thousand you need to learn the the full words but we're not gonna go through that in this video too advanced stuff so i hope you guys like this video i hope you're excited for sweden week we have how many three videos left after this one i hope you will like them and don't forget to subscribe and check out my links below to keep up to date on everything that i do until next time have a super duper good one i will see you later Bye.